The Illinois baseball season ended on Saturday with an ugly loss at the hands of Jacksonville State in the NCAA tournament. The Illini blew a 4-0 lead to the Gamecocks, who had never won an NCAA tournament game until Saturday. It's not the first time the Illini have blown a lead late in a game. Illinois ended the season by losing five of their last six games. In those five losses, Illinois allowed 19 runs in the last three innings, seven runs in the seventh innings, nine in eighth innings, and three in ninth innings. Just went on a little bit of a skid, and uh, I mean, I could go back to each and every game and say, "Well, there's this play, or you know, we we did this, we didn't do that." Just part of it. Just part of it. It's not the easy part. We will be back. Um, th this this group did a, a tremendous job of getting us back. You know, where we're getting uh, some national uh, recognition and put us back in the spotlight. So we'll build on that with the young guys and uh, the leadership that this group has shown has been really, really important for our program. The MLB draft starts tomorrow. Multiple Illini are expected to hear their names called. I don't know if anyone in central Illinois had a better weekend than the Fleener family. Brothers Chris and Justin each won some hardware for their respective schools. Justin is the head coach for Tatopolis. He won the school's fourth state championship by taking down Pleasant Plains 12 to 6. Chris is Effingham's head man. He won the Flaming Hearts' first sectional title since 1942 by beating Glenwood 4 to 2. Effingham will now play Waterloo for a spot at state. I'm happy for him, very happy for him to, to get a big win today. Um, we'll be cheering them on for a little while now, hopefully. I, I just feel like I owe a lot of it to the kids right out here. We try to put them in positions where they can have some success, and the, the boys go out and make the plays. You always want to have a goal of trying to get as far as you can, but you know, as the season's been progressing here toward the end, we knew we had some guys that could step up and do some stuff. So, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we got enough. We feel like we've got some good arms on the team, and uh, our pitchers have stepped up here toward the end and really started throwing the ball real well. Effingham and Waterloo start at 4 o'clock on Monday in Sauge. Mount Zion softball is also playing tomorrow afternoon in a super sectional. It's their second trip in two years for the Braves, and it has a familiar feel to it. Last season, they beat Charleston in the sectional final. This year, they beat Charleston in the sectional final. Last season, they beat Centralia in the super sectional. This year, guess who they're playing? Yep, they're playing Centralia in the super sectional. It means a lot because of the whole championship last year and coming back and taking three wins over Charleston means a lot to us. It feels great. You know, I always tell people winning is always fun. Uh, you know, plus it's good for our community too. Uh, now, the good thing with these kids, they have seeded the next generation because tomorrow at camp we will have 60 kids at our, our little kids camp uh, because of these kids. Mount Zion plays Centralia 4.30 tomorrow in Mattoon. We revisit the NCAA tournament when we come back. Two Champaign natives facing each other on the mound in Louisville. Regionals, Illinois State versus Louisville. Coming up next. You respect strong values in people and price tags. Good on you. This Father's Day, shop our lowest price of the season with 60% off designer sport coats, designer suits, and all casual wear. Now through Sunday, shop online and in-store, only at Men's Warehouse. George has heart failure and a busy day ahead. George has Entresto, a heart failure pill that helps keep people alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto with pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or allosterin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or arm. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. The beat goes that was great. What's in a union label? Pride. Expertise. The highest level of standards. And understanding that you're never off the clock. Charged with standing up for others. To fight for fairness. Opportunity. Equal pay. An obligation to help everyone succeed. A commitment to protecting what makes America possible. What's in a union label? Everything that matters most. 
Here's to all the farm and fleet dads, the ones that get the job done right, the ones that take the time to pass it on. This Father's Day, give him something you know he'll love from the store dads love, Blaine's Farm and Fleet. For the DIY dad, get $40 off a DeWalt 142-piece mechanics tool set, $89.99. Save $80 on a Milwaukee two-piece compact drill driver kit, $149. And for the casual dad, men's Swiss nylon ripstop shorts are on sale, $14.99. That's genuine value, just like he taught you. From Blaine's Farm and Fleet. You respect strong values in people and price tags. Good on you. This Father's Day, shop our lowest price of the season with 60% off designer sport coats, designer suits, and all casual wear. Now through Sunday, shop online and in-store, only at Men's Warehouse. Back to the NCAA baseball tournament where the Illini might be eliminated, but there are still plenty of Central Illinois connections. Nowhere more prevalent than in Louisville. Between Louisville, Indiana, and Illinois State, eight Central Illinois high schoolers are in that regional. Two Champagne products facing each other on the mound today. Centennial's Luke Smith of Louisville taking on Jeff Lindgren of Illinois State. Another Central Maroon on the plate in Joe Isles. Look at that play by Smith on the mound. No glove necessary as he makes the bare-handed catch and gets Isles out. Then in the fourth, Jake Schneider, his first home run of the season. And he is pumped. We're going to slow-mo this. Look at the bat flip. And the slow walk down the line. He loves it. Smith back on the mound. Ends the eighth with a strikeout. Eight and one-thirds inning. Only three hits. Two earned runs. Louisville wins it 11-2. to These two teams play again tomorrow. Winner advances to the Super Regional. The St. Louis Cardinals in search of a sweep over the Cubs in St. Louis. Colton Wong in the fourth inning. Sacrifice fly to dead center. It made it one to nothing. Redbirds, fifth inning, excuse me. Then one nothing lead in the eighth. Matt Carpenter with Colton Wong on second. He singles to center. Wong scores. It's 2 nothing Redbirds. Cubs had plenty of chances, but the Cardinals shut the door. John Gant gets David Bodie to ground out. It's a sweep. Cardinals 2, Cubs 1. White Sox hosting the Indians at guaranteed rate field. Tim Anderson with a little stick talk to left center. Solo home run put the White Sox on top. One nothing in the fourth. Lucas Giolito, he might be the best pitcher in baseball right now. Seven plus innings, allowing no earned runs. Another quality start for Gio. Then it's Anderson again at the dish. He drives in another run to make it two to nothing. That is going to be your final. White Sox win it two to nothing. The Chicago Bears are back to work in the midst of organized team activities, also known as OTAs. Chicago is coming off their best season in a while, going 12-4 and four last year. Samantha Rivera reports from Lake Forest. These NFC North champs have a lot of expectations to hit heading into the new season, including growth lots of Bears fans are hoping to see from third-year quarterback Mitch Trubisky. He's learning this offense. But now what he's trying to do is master it. And so I think last year he learned it. This year he's trying to really master it. There's plays out here that he makes, uh, adjustments that he makes, that we don't have to tell him, hey, do this. He just does it naturally. It's basically trying to know the offense as well as Coach Nagy does, just being on the same page, mastering this offense, owning every single, whether it's protection call, check, adjustment, um, changing plays. The comfort in executing plays has given Trubisky the confidence to now help the new guys, who he says add to their list of weapons. Yeah, we got a ton of weapons on offense. It's a lot of fun for a quarterback. It just you got a lot of talent around me. The free agents we signed, they came in here, learned the offense. They're picking up really quickly, and same with the rookies. Trubisky's strong leadership on the field comes as no surprise to Nagy. It's everything that we knew he could do last year. It's just he's, he's doing it more. Uh, he's, watch, he's watching tape. He's, he's leading meetings. Um, He's vocal in the meetings that we have. While Trubisky seems to have a good grasp of things on his end, he says he and his teammates are supporting the three kickers they have on the team right now, still competing for a final spot. There were a couple of missed kicks on Wednesday, but he says he's not worried. If it, once, once we take care of it, it won't even be a thing, but I guess it's just a trend right now. We're trying to let this thing play out, you know, and uh, that's a very important position for us right now, so we're going to be delicate with it and make sure that whatever we do, you know, we talk about it and we decide, okay, is this the best thing to do? If we need to bring three to camp, we'll bring three to camp. Uh, Samantha Rivera reporting. The Memorial Tournament from Dublin, Ohio. Martin Keimer had the lead entering the day. He birdies to get to 17 under here, but he would fade, though. Ninth hole, par four. Patrick Cantlay drops the birdie putt. That moved him to 16 under. 
ahead now to the 16th a par three adam scott made a late charge this birdie putt just creeps in the front door with the pin in he moved to 17 under but can't lay wins it today by two shots he shot 66 under on the final day to take the victory President Obama on hand for game three of the game two of the NBA Finals in Toronto. Pascal Siakam climbs the ladder, throws it down one-handed. Raptors led by five at the half. Warriors outscore Toronto thir by 13 in the third, but Toronto comes back. Danny Green's three cuts uh, back down to two. Then with under 10 seconds left, Peoria Sean Livingston finds Springfield Lamphere product. Andre Iguodala and Iggy buries the dagger. Warriors even the series at one with a five-point win. And finally tonight, the Pocono 400 from Long Pond, PA. Kyle Larson wins stage one. And Kyle Larson also wins stage two. But he can't hold on to win the race. The other Kyle, Kyle Bush, takes the checkered flag. How about that Warriors game, though? Two local guys. Peoria kid and Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala hitting the three. Love to see the local kids making a splash. Absolutely, and I love to see those two coaches that were brothers too. Yeah, that's taking home really, wins for that's team. really, really cool. Hopefully, Effingham's coach can also bring a state title and match his brother. Fingers crossed. That would be awesome. Yeah. All right, thanks, Craig.